Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is a prophecy report entitled, Before It Is Too Late. On July 24th, it was reported that Marshall, Minnesota pastor John Tram wrote a letter to Minnesota Governor uh, Tim Waltz that was signed by 20 Minnesota pastors and hand-delivered to Governor Waltz by Pastor Tram and Pastor Eric Anderson. The letter urged Governor Waltz to repent, change your ways before it is too late. It was prompted by three bills that Governor Waltz signed. One that promotes part of the LGBTQ agenda, one that could threaten the freedom of speech of professionals that want to warn patients and children about the potential dangers of conversion therapy, and one that grants unrestricted access to abortion. Tram said he is praying for Governor Waltz, and he urged other pastors and Christians to stand up and speak out. Is it possible for people to run out of time to repent and be saved? It's a debatable subject. We know that a multitude too great to be counted will hear the gospel, repent, and be saved during the tribulation period. But when God shut the door in Noah's ark, it was too late for multitudes. When the hand wrote on the wall, it was too late for King Belshazzar and thousands of Babylonians. When a certain rich man decided to build bigger barns to store his bountiful crop, it was too late for him to do it. Not everyone agrees, but I believe that those that have heard the gospel but refuse to believe it, accept Jesus and repent of their sins, are running out of time to get saved before they are struck with strong delusion, like the blinding of the Jews or the hardening of Pharaoh's heart. The Bible clearly teaches that people need to be ready to go on a moment's notice because the rapture could happen at any moment without warning, called the doctrine of imminence. The rapture will happen in the twinkling of an eye. The rapture will come upon the earth like a snare. People will perish for not receiving the love of the truth that they might be saved. That God will send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, and that all of them might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Anyway, not all of God's people agree that someone can run out of time to repent and be saved, but all of them agree that God is a God of grace, and that He will gloriously save those that truly repent and accept Jesus before the rapture. So, make your salvation sure now. Reach your loved ones now, and you won't have to be concerned about it being too late later. Here are some recent events that may relate to the end of the age Bible prophecy. Concerning natural disasters, on July 28th, it was reported that two-thirds of the U.S., almost 200 million people, are experiencing an extreme heat wave. In many places, the heat index ranges between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature in Phoenix, Arizona has exceeded 110 degrees for 30 consecutive days, and the heat index has been higher. On July 28th, UN Secretary General Gutierrez said, The era of global warming has ended. The era of global boiling has arrived. He added that July 2023 is set to be the hottest month ever recorded in human history. He wants dramatic action to combat it, but that appears to be a push to empower the UN, the WHO, the WEF, and other globalist organizations to control the world. Concerning an economic collapse, due primarily to high taxes and a high cost of living. California's population has declined three years in a row. Businesses and jobs are leaving the state, and it's losing hundreds of millions of dollars of income from tax revenues every year. Concerning the right to buy and sell, in June of 2023, UK Brexit leader Nigel Farage was debanked meaning the bank where he was banking canceled his accounts. 
Farage believes his accounts were canceled for political reasons, and he believed it was wrong for banks to have the ability to control people's access to their own money. At first, officials where Farage banked denied that they debanked him for political reasons, but he filed for and received a report that showed that he was, in fact, debanked because of his politics, and two of the bank's top officials were forced to resign. It sounds to me like Farage was saying he doesn't believe politically correct bank officials should be allowed to deny people the right to buy and sell because their views are not politically correct. Students of Bible prophecy can see that this is headed toward the mark of the beast. Regarding persecution, a pastor, his wife, and young son have been jailed for allegedly luring innocent people to Christianity in violation of an anti-conversion law in Uttar Pradesh, India's most populous state, where Christians only make up less than 1% of the 200 million population. The pastor and his wife were arrested by the police and jailed along with their three-year-old son on July 31st after they were accused of hosting a prayer meeting in their home located in the town of Hadgarah. Even though the pastor had denied the allegation that he was luring innocent people to the Christian faith, the family was arrested for violating the Prohibition of Unlawful Conversion of Religion Act 2021. Their young son had to be jailed with them because in India, children up to six years old are frequently forced to live with their incarcerated parents, especially their mothers. Regarding the Mark of the Beast technology, an Australian intelligence agency is funding research to merge human brain cells with AI. A team of researchers collaborating with Melbourne-based startup Cortical Labs received a $600,000 grant to merge biology with AI. The team has already demonstrated how roughly 800,000 brain cells in a petri dish is capable of playing a game of Pong. This new technological capability in the future may eventually surpass the performance of existing purely silicon-based hardware, said team lead Adele Razi, an associate professor at Monarch University. The outcomes of such research would have a significant implication across multiple fields, such as, but not limited to, planning, robotics, advanced automation, brain-machine interfaces, and drug discovery, giving Australia a significant strategic advantage. According to Razi, we will be using this grant to develop better AI machines that replicate the learning capacity of these biological neural networks. And finally, are you rapture ready?